Hi friends, in this video I will show you how to play a background music in your app using media player class. So let's get started. Open Android Studio and click start a new Android Studio project. Click next, write the project name. Media player demo, write the package name. For me, it's com.sandipattacharya.media player demo. I am going to save the project on my desktop. For language, select Java and for minimum SDK, select API 16 Android Jelly Bean. Click finish. Now wait for Android Studio to build and configure your AMT project. Now go to activity underscore main dot xml. First I will change this layout to relative layout and I will delete this text view. Just delete this line. Go to design and I will drag and drop a text view inside this relative layout. Go to code. For the text, I will write media player demo and I want this text view to be aligned center horizontal. So write layout underscore center horizontal true. For text size, I will use 32 SP, SP stands for scale independent pixels. And for text color, I will use at android colon color for a slash hollow underscore blue underscore dark. Okay, check the design. Go to code and inside this relative layout, I will give a padding of 16 dp. dp stands for density independent pixels. Go to design. Go to layouts and drag and drop a linear layout horizontal inside this relative layout. Go to code for layout underscore height write wrap content and I want this linear layout to be center vertical so write layout center vertical true. Go to design, go to common and drag and drop three buttons inside this linear layout. One for play, one for pause and one for stop. Go to code. For this button, write play. For this one, write pause and for this one, write stop I will give a method name inside on click property the method that I will create in main activity I will copy this line and paste for other two buttons just click here and press alt enter and click create music view within brackets in main activity. Inside main activity first I will declare a media player object reference. So write media player media player. I will initialize the media player object reference with null in on create. Media player equals to null. Then inside this music method, I will use a switch case statement to get which button has been clicked. So write switch view. This is the same view that we are getting inside this view parameter. 
then we will call get id to get the id of the view then case r dot id dot button this is the first button for the play we will check if media player is null if true we will instantiate the media player object so write if media player double equals to null then media player equals to media player dot create now i am just going to copy the mp3 file that i am going to play inside android app and inside res i will create a new directory and i will name it raw just paste your mp3 file over here and here write this for context and for the file name r dot raw dot music then we will register on completion listener that calls a user supplied callback method on completion when looping mode is set to false to indicate playback is completed so write media player dot set on completion listener new on completion listener here we will call a method that we will define to release the media player object and to set it to null stop music Next we will call start method on media player to start playing the music. Media player dot start. Then write break to break out from this case statement. For the next case write case r dot id dot button 2 if media player not equals to null here we will call pause method on media player to pause the music media player dot pause give a break statement for the next case write r dot id dot button 3 colon if media player not equals to null this for the stop button here we will call stop method on media player object to stop the music media player dot stop then we will call our stop music method we need a break statement now click here and press alt enter and select create method stop music in main activity this is our method to release the media player object and to set it to null so write media player dot release media player equals to null we will call stop music in on stop overridden method as well protected void on stop here 
call stop music just to brush up inside main activity we have created a object reference for media player and we have initialized it to null inside on create the music method gets called every time a button is clicked and here we are checking which button is clicked with the switch case statement if the first button for the play is clicked we are checking if media player object is null or not if it is null then we are instantiating the media player object and we are registering a on completion listener into the media player object and when the music finished playback this stop music method that we are defining gets called where we are basically releasing the media player object and we are setting it to null we are also starting the music using the media player object and then calling the start method on it and if the pause button is clicked we are checking whether the media player object is null or not if it is not null then we are calling the pause method on media player object and when the stop button is clicked we are checking whether the media player object is null or not if it is not null then we are calling stop method on media player object and then after stopping the music we are calling stop music method let's run the app click the play button the music starts playing if i click the pause button music is paused if i play again music starts from where it left off if i play the stop button it totally stops if you find this tutorial useful please like and share the video and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this